Hi, I'm Steve Hoberman, and I'm going to give you a quick overview to the subjects I cover in the Data Modeling Fundamentals class that I teach several times a year for IRM UK in London. Here's my email address, also my web address, and also the link on the bottom to the IRM UK site contains a more detailed description of the class, including a PDF download of the class description. I'm going to talk about the first of the five objectives that I cover during the two-day class, the fundamentals. The first is explain data modeling building blocks and identify these constructs by following a question-driven approach to ensure model precision. So not only, in the not only in the class do we learn about all the different parts of the model, like entities, relationships, keys, and so on, but I also share with you the questions I ask people to get these constructs. So for example, what questions should we ask to identify the entities and relationships, for example? Describe relational and dimensional, conceptual, logical, and physical data models. So I'm going to go through the six different types of data models that exist, relational and dimensional, and for each of these two modeling mindsets, the three different levels of modeling, conceptual, logical, and physical. Conceptual is all about understanding the big picture, logical is solving the business solution, and physical is solving the technical solution. Also in the class, we're going to build a relational, conceptual data model and a dimensional logical. So it's one thing to sit back and listen and hear me talk and do some smaller exercises, but it's quite another thing for us to roll up our sleeves and actually build the models. So in this class, you'll have an opportunity to build two of the six different types of models. Demonstrate reading a data model of any size and complexity with the same confidence as reading a book. So by the end of the fundamentals class, you'll be able to read any data model just like reading any other symbols like a book. I'm going to share with you the techniques I use to read a model and to explain it to other people. And the fifth objective of the training, validate any data model with key settings, scope, abstraction, time frame, function, and format. So in this class, I'm going to show you a very quick way to assess the quality of a data model using a camera analogy, where we look at four different settings on a camera, as well as the format, taking the picture. So these objectives, to accomplish all five objectives, the training contains two different modules. One module is on the foundation, the basics of modeling, and the second module is on the different types of models, conceptual, logical, and physical. I thought it would be fun, too, just in this short overview of the training, to share with you five sample slides from the class. So we cover over 200 uh, pages of content, and I'm just going to share five of them with you here to give you a flavor for the class. The first is the class opens with an exercise where each person in the room is asked to build a data model for my book, Data Modeling Made Simple, and some very interesting discussions come out of this exercise. The second slide introduces the camera analogy where I talk about four settings on a camera and how each one equates perfectly back to the data model and also what happens when you actually push the button. And this is, once we have a good understanding of these settings, you can actually use them to validate any data model. And I'll show you how to do that in the class. So I mentioned in one of the objectives that not only do I talk about the different types and components of the model, but I also go into the questions I ask to to get the information. So this slide shares with you um, the six questions I ask to identify a relationship. And we go through this in the class and we practice building it. It's really a lot of fun. There's also a lot of exercises in the class. So this next slide is a sample of an exercise we do in the class where we take an existing data model and we expand it. We take this office and employee model and we add one more data element to it, office first occupied date, and we also need to accommodate a whole bunch of rules. So it gives us a lot of good practice in not only building models from the beginning, but also extending existing models like this example. And this slide in the class introduces the six different types of models, relational and dimensional, and for each of these, conceptual, logical, and physical levels of details. And in this class, we go into detail on each of these six, and you'll have an opportunity to build a relational, conceptual, and a dimensional logical. And that gives you a brief overview of the training. 
Hope to see you at a future class. Thank you.